Hello, welcome to SG Real Prop. My name is Ben. How are you guys? Okay, look at here behind me. Okay, it's a five room flat in Sengkang. Okay, it's at near Anchorview uh, area. So, what happened is uh, this house is put up for rent. Uh, the last rental for this house was 3700 And because the tenant has been staying there for 10 years already and recently got their PR, so he decided to get a resale flat nearby. So anyway, this house is now is vacant. Uh, uh, previously, like what I mentioned, three thousand seven hundred was the price that they are actually renting out. But now, because I also noticed that there's there's a slight uh, decrease in rental. Uh, current rental in this area is about three thousand four, three thousand five, that kind of pricing. So I of course managed to uh, share with my landlord the expectation should be managed downward instead of going upward already. Uh, so they are okay with it, generally speaking. And at the same time, they also do a small, uh, little reno over here, about ten over thousand, to make make good with everything like new kitchen cabinet. If you look at here, 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 okay, new kitchen cabinet, new lightings, even the toilet accessories are all brand new. So what happened is these are the little things that I share with my landlord. During good times, it definitely helps you to fetch a higher price. But during bad time, tenant market. Definitely all this upgrade right help you to rent out faster at reasonable rate compared to your peers. So you have to really manage your expectation, seriously speaking, during your good time and bad time. Uh, as a landlord, I always share with them this is a one year 30 over thousand, 36 over thousand kind of contract. What is a few hundred or few few thousand dollars of uh, upkeep of premise when the thing uh, when the contract end and you look forward to a new tenant. Okay, so yes, I do uh, notice that the rental drop, okay, rental drop these few months, six months, like what I mentioned, 3007, now we are asking 3004, 3004, yeah. So, but come to think of it, this house was rented as low as 2003, 2004, like since the beginning of the uh, rental tenure, like 10 plus years ago. During all these years, it has been raising, rising uh, in a steadily trend, okay? So as in 2003, 2004, then 2002, then after that, raised to 2006, 2007, so on and so forth. So generally speaking, over these past few years, you can see a growing trend upward, okay, for HDB rental as well. So if you ask me, HDB still enjoy the highest rental ill, okay, compared to the private, because this house was bought like three, four, three hundred over thousand, like 17 years ago. So <clears throat> imagine now, imagine uh, assuming that she ran out 10 years, okay, averagely we talk about $3,000 per, per month. We are talking about she took back close to three over, 300 over thousand already. Huh? So yeah, I still think that HDB rental is good, healthy. Then of course, uh, we as a as an agent, we definitely have to help to help our landlord to manage the expectation here and there. If it's a good time, definitely we'll rent higher. If it's a bad time, our job is to help them rent out faster at a reasonable rate. Okay, see you.